This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at green screen keys in Adobe Premiere Pro CC and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create and adjust a basic green screen key in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Let's make this green disappear. I'll switch back to the effects workspace just to give ourselves some room to work. And notice that the clips are stacked such that the green screen clip is above the background. I'm going to select the clip that has the green screen, go over to the effects panel, go down to video effects, and in the keying panel is the key that we're going to be using consistently today, if I can get it to hold still. It's called the ultra key. Grab ultra key, drag it on top of the clip, and absolutely nothing happens <laughs> because the default settings are set to neutral. With the clip selected, go over to the Effect Controls panel. If Ultra Key is not opened up, click the twirl down arrow to open it. And this is our first step. We need to set the key color. Click the eyedropper control. When you're selecting a color, you want to select a color which is close to the face. So you wouldn't select something down by the feet close to the face, about a quarter of an inch off. You don't want to get so close that you intersect with skin and definitely don't want to have hair. That's just going to make your life miserable. So I aim for about a quarter of an inch off the side of the face and click. And that quickly, the green has disappeared. It has become transparent such that everything that is that color is now invisible. And I see the background behind. As I play this clip, even though Lisa was shot in front of a green screen, look at how the light on this side of her face picks up the light coming from the background because we planned it that way. And notice the light over here, softer, is still reflected on that side of her face. I'm going to hide this clip. We'll just control click on it and say disable because I want to point out something with the key. Notice that there's a little bit of a green halo here. That's true of most keys, especially with, with hair that's loose, not tightly bound, and hair that's lighter, like blonde rather than brown or, or black, tends to show the green better. So we have to fix that. Select the clip that has the green screen key, and we're going to go down to where it says spill suppression. Spill is green, which is spilling around the edges of an object. What we'll do to fix it is we'll just grab this spill slider and drag it up. If I drag it up too far, it may look a little bit magenta-ish. What we're really doing, notice how that green, first there's lots of green by taking the spill off, and now I'm making the spill disappear. What I'm really doing, if you can picture in your mind the color wheel where red is in the top left corner, blue is on the right, and green is in the lower left corner. As we look at that color wheel, the color opposite red it's called the secondary color. Red's a primary color. Cyan is a secondary color. Green is primary. Magenta is secondary. Blue is primary. Yellow is secondary. When you add the secondary color, it cancels the primary color. So green plus magenta equals gray. So what we're doing is we're adding some magenta to the edges of this key to make the green disappear. We can also desaturate it if we want, which makes it, you know, less color information. Just drag across to desaturate. I'll pull this spill up just a bit. Now when I turn this clip back on again, well, this is the other problem. Notice that Lisa is in focus and the background is in focus. That's not the way lenses work. If I'm focused on Lisa, the background is out of focus. So I'm going to select this image of the Yarra River in Melbourne, Australia. Select it, go back to the effects panel. This time go down to blur and add my favorite blur for this, which is a Gaussian blur, and just apply it. With the clip selected, go back to the effect controls. And you don't want to add tons of blur. That looks really artificial maybe what your story calls for, but I tend to just take the edges off. I'm going to take and add probably about, oh, I don't know, 15 to 20% blur, so that now you get the sense of depth of field as Lisa is looking her murderous best at us. And I've taken the green edges off, and there's so many colors in the background. 
but we've got a little bit of a white halo here. So we're going to fix that by selecting the clip, going under Matte Cleanup, and I'm just going to choke this just a little bit. Choke means to eat into the edges. So I'm going to choke it a bit. There we go, just by dragging this a little bit to the right. And soften is going to blur the edge between the foreground and background, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to eat into the edges just a little bit. And we end up with a really nice looking and totally believable key where the colors of the background are reflected in the foreground. The lighting in the background is reflected in the foreground. I don't have any green halos. I don't have any white halos. I've got an overall consistent look between the foreground and the background shot. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at green screen keys in Adobe Premiere Pro CC and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 256. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.